One of these things is not like the other. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to determine which one of these memory cards is fake and which one of them is real so you don't get duped. It's tech Quiz time. So recently I started buying the lineup of Samsung micro SD cards and I came across a little bit of a problem. One of the memory cards that I got looked a little bit off and I thought to myself, hang on a second, I think this one's a fake. So I did a little bit of research and I figured out how to tell which one is a fake and which one is real. Now these two memory cards are from two different lines, meaning they've got different speed ratings and so forth, but essentially they are from the same manufacturer and they should be fairly similar in how they look and appear. Now I'm gonna tell you straight off the bat, the real one is this one right here. And the reason for that is the print quality on the actual cards themselves and a couple other details that are missing from this fake. So I'll put this one aside and we will look at what features you can look for on your Samsung memory cards to check and see whether they're fake or not. Now the first thing that tipped me with this was the SD card adapter. Having a look at that close up, you can see that the quality of the adapter in the printing is very, very off. It just doesn't look sharp like the other memory card right here. So that was the first thing that tipped me off. The second thing that tipped me off was the little hole punch section up the top here. All the official ones that I'd purchased had that already punched out. But on this fake one, it was still in there and I thought, hmm, that's a little bit strange. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean it's a fake, but it was something else that sort of tipped me off to feel like, mm, something doesn't feel right here. That could lend credence to your memory card being fake, but it's not the be all and end all determining factor. The third thing that I noticed was the actual SD card itself, or in this case, the micro SD card. Now, on all my other Samsung micro SD cards, the edging is white and this particular one, the edging is black. Now from my research, I've gathered that it is harder to actually have the edges white than it is to have it black. So for whatever reason, the counterfeiters don't go to the trouble of making the edging white because of the costs involved. And whilst we're looking at the memory card, you can also see that the print quality on the face of the memory card itself isn't that high quality. Now, you would figure being that it's Samsung that the print quality on these would be top notch. But unfortunately, you can see here that it is just not up to scratch. Now, the next section to look for is down near the barcode down the very bottom. Now, you'll see there, there will be a code. It'll say model code and then be a long code with a slash and some characters after it. For people in Europe or Australia, you'll get the EU. For people in America, I believe it's AM. This particular one here, the fake one, has CN after it, which I'm assuming means China. So that was my next tip off. And lastly was something really, really simple that a lot of people would overlook. And that is right down the very bottom to the other side of the barcode, it says where the memory card was made. Now the fake one says made in Korea, and that's pretty much it. But every other single memory card that I've got from Samsung has said made in Philippines. And it also gives you a disclaimer there saying that the SD card adapter has a one year warranty from China. So from what I can see, all of my legitimate Samsung micro SD cards have all been made in the Philippines. And this particular one here was made in Korea. So that was the, the final strike for me. So I reached out and contacted the eBay seller and they promptly told me that they don't sell fake goods like you can see here in this message. Well, I for one know that this is a fake good and I'm not gonna name and shame them, but just be aware that if it is a very cheap product and it's not from a reputable seller, that it may be a fake item. So one of the other things that you can do is you can run the memory card through a couple of tests. And if you pop over with me now to the computer, we'll run through those now. All right, so we've put the 32 gig memory card in, which is L drive there that you can see. And the first thing that's suspicious is that there's 31.2 gigabytes free. Generally, you'll see 29.7 or 29.8 gigabytes of free space. So that's the first thing that's a bit strange, I think. All right, so the first thing that we'll do is we'll do this one here, which is called H2 Test W. And this just tests out the hardware to see if you can write to the full 
extent of the memory card. So we'll select target, we'll select L, okay. We'll hit write and verify, and let's speed up the footage. Actually, this comes up saying attention 32018 with total capacity of 32019. Not too concerned about this, so just hit OK. And now it will start writing. One of the first things that tips me off is the write speed. That write speed is horrible. Seven megabytes per second? Hmm. We'll clarify that shortly, but for now, let's speed up the footage. All right, I'm already bored, so what I'm gonna do, it's only been a minute and 15, uh, minute 15 seconds, 17 seconds. And now it's saying that there's an hour and 15 minutes remaining. So I'm gonna just pause this for a second or abort. And I'm gonna go over to here. This one is called USB D view. The links for these will be down in the description. So I'll right click on there and hit speed test, L drive and start test. Wow, so look at that. So we've got a write speed of six megabytes per second. The box says that it can write up to 20 megabytes per second. And the read speed is at a lowly 15.78 megabytes per second. And the box claims 80 megabytes per second. So, hmm, there's something really wrong with this card. So I'll hit close. Say okay. And now I will leave that and show you what the result is after it's finished. And here we go. After 38 minutes, you can see now that there is an error around the 16 gigabyte mark. So even though it's a 32 gig card, apparently it's only able to write up to 16 gigabytes. So this is another common issue with fake cards and running this test will ensure that you can tell whether or not it is a legitimate card or not. So what should you do if you do receive a fake memory card? Well, do all the tests that I showed you, have a look at the quality of the memory card itself, and if everything points to it being a fake card, then contact the seller, see if they have anything to say about it. A lot of the times they will just say that, oh, we don't sell fake memory cards like this particular seller did. In that case, you need to, if it's on eBay, file a dispute and say that you don't believe the product is genuine. Um, I believe you can do a similar thing on Amazon. Leave a feedback or a comment to mention that this seller is selling fake memory cards and that'll just help other buyers like yourself in the future realize that you know what this seller might be selling counterfeit memory cards and that's going to help out everyone in the end so wrapping this video up i would say that memory card shopping should be left to the people that you trust like the bigger businesses instead of the smaller one-time sellers on eBay. Well, I really hope you like this informative video on how to tell if your memory card is a fake or not. If you do enjoy the videos that I'm creating here, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I'll be releasing new videos every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US. If you like this video or if you've got any comments uh, about the fake memory card, something that you'd like to clarify, then leave me a comment down below and I'll see if I can help out. And also don't forget that you can contact me on any of the social media platforms at TechWizTime. And as always, imagine, learn, create.